Are yeah. you? Looks like it's recording. Okay. I couldn't hear it go beep. Yeah. That was Ernie, by the way, if you couldn't tell the big in front of the camera. But, hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. to try and talk and make sense about something that we've recently uh, purchased and this is a off-grid camp uh, toilet sink combo um, now this this is uh, something that, that we might use here on the property uh, prior to getting our septic system installed and that's the reason why we got it um, and the fact that you know we're building the shed uh, we wanted something small and compact and uh, if this is it inside this box and it's definitely small and compact so all right opening up the box we have uh, we have a sink um, a little drain in it it's got a screen inside the drain uh, Catch all that Sasquatch hair. Yeah, there's some kind of reservoir here. I'm not sure what that's about. But yes, uh, we'll are. figure it out as we go. And it appears that this is... Looks like it's easy to put in, isn't it? Some kind of way. Somehow, yeah. That's supposed to snap into that, I believe. Ugh. Wow. Like that. Past your ABC. So, uh, and we got these, these little hooks back here, I guess, to run. Maybe a, a water line up the back of it. But, uh, so, yeah, you got a sink. And, and I'm sure there's there's much more inside this uh, this box, so we're gonna keep on unpacking. Uh, it's like a carry case. It is a carry case. Yeah. So we have a carry case. It's probably for, for the toilet because I don't think all of that can fit together. Not not in that little square. I don't know. In case you need to take your camp toilet to a hotel with you. <laughs> I'm not real sure why that's there. Um, so we have some plumbing pieces here. Uh, this is a, a corrugated plastic tube. Um, here's another tube which looks like it might actually be a water line. Uh, several adapters. So uh, I'm just going to kind of leave that be for right now so I don't lose the parts. Uh, we have a faucet. Check that out. And a uh, pretty, pretty nice looking faucet at that. Uh, and I'm thinking that that's what that little line was I was just looking at would fit onto this. So that would fit onto the uh, to the sink somehow. Surely the uh, instructions would tell us about that. And uh, that looks like a water reservoir. And yes, Ernie is standing just off camera, uh, providing commentary. Uh, if you didn't hear what she said, she said she thinks this is a water reservoir, and I would tend to agree with her. It is some sort of reservoir. It's got wheels on it. So apparently it's supposed to... The entire thing is supposed to be able to move. Be moved easily. Yeah. Uh, and this might be for an enema. I don't know. I think that's the water line. Yeah. Okay. That goes well, up the sink. We'll, we'll figure that out too. I think this might actually be like a foot pump. Look, see how that looks like it's, it squeezes into the... Yeah. If it's a foot pump, it's probably the flush for the toilet. So anyway. And that line probably is what brings the water from the sink to the toilet. I could be wrong. You could be wrong. That's like a then toilet again, lid. You could be right. So. Hey, Ann, sing a song with yeah. that. Anybody want to have family photos? Hey! Um, sing a song with that. Yeah. That should actually be your intro. Uh, I'm a poo Anybody poo want to? I'm a poo poo. I'm yeah. a poo poo. I'm a poo poo. Like, How do you think? Now, I know you guys YouTube. are probably going to really enjoy that, and it's probably going to be all over Facebook or YouTube or, or wherever this goes. No, I, so. I'm, I'm stringing that one up at church. Great, great. So, anyway, yeah, so yeah. you have your toilet seat and lid. Um, the seat is not it's extremely sturdy. So, uh, plastic -y. Yeah, not sure how long that would last. Uh, but anyway. If you leave the seat down, it'll last a long time. That's the, the first thing that I've seen that's come out of this box that looks kind of iffy. Uh, the rest of it looks pretty decent, really. That's probably another so, carrot. <laughs> and 
So we have matching lug luggage. Luggage. Luggage, yeah. We have ma matching luggage. Yeah. We have how you would get uh, the waste product from there into here, pulling this, and it would be contained inside this this reservoir right here. Wait a minute, look in there and smell it and see if they sold us a used one. And right now the reservoir is showing green. What's that button for? And I imagine that that is... Is it a push button? No, it's not a push button flush. Is it a reset? What, what a... Uh -huh. You might have to look at the instructions. Yeah. It says green though, yeah, so it's, it's not green. cool. It's green, which I, I would... I would Tend to say that indicates that this reservoir is empty. Yeah. And uh, and maybe you press the button. I don't know to reset it. I see instructions at um, your feet though. That's the empty thingy. And yes, yeah, so we have this this nice orange colored. I, uh, I think pipe. it also so you can hook it up outside if you ever wanted to to run it through a wall. It might. Some camp toilets have that. I don't know. I haven't read the instructions. It probably turns though. Does it at least turn? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so so that turns. Now here's something else too. You always want to make sure you have a handle so you can carry your toilet wherever you go. So wherever you wherever go. Wherever you go. You <laughs> never know when you're going to need a camp toilet. So anyway, um, so yeah, we have this. Uh, it's fairly low on the, on the ground. It feels kind of a pedestal so, so that I don't have to drop it like it's hot all the way. Yeah, if, if you were... If you were trying to use this bad boy, it um, is low. It's I mean not low, low. What is that like? A, two and a half feet off yeah. the ground. I mean it's actually. I'm sitting in that chair right there. Um, Don't sit on the lid, lid. And honestly, it's it's just about the right height for me. So, uh, and that's the flush. And so anyway, um, that's all the pieces that we have to our. That's the same pedestal. It's gotta be because the toilet's got its own pedestal. That's what I'm thinking. Because it looks like this thing would screw into that. You would know about that. Somehow, but it ain't. It ain't, you know, it's it ain't threading in. So I mean it looks like it's got threads on the end right here. And it looks like it should thread into that, but for some reason it is not wanting to do well, that. But it was leaning trying to But I, I do think that this reservoir here would have a pump that would rinse the toilet and possibly provide the water when the toilet your... when the toilet flushes the water that comes from the sink is what actually comes into the toilet so it's like gray water that flushes your toilet after you like wash your hands or whatever and the sink has its own water reservoir where you fill it up and how many gallons do you think that is without looking at the thing i would say this would probably hold three four maybe five gallons tops yeah so um, i mean it's enough for quite a few hand washes and flushes yeah so, next up is the demonstration portion of the video. No, I'm kidding, honestly. Screw it in, I want to see it all sit inside my gun. I just tried to screw it in and I told you, they ain't screw it in there. Alright, well now it is. And it's crooked. What does it look like in the picture? That actually okay. looks more like it's supposed to right there. Except the... Uh, it's almost there, there you go. What, what, what picture are we talking about? The picture that, that it was bought with, but look at that. instructions. Well, I don't want to build a thing out here on the front porch. I understand, but... And I don't know what this is either. Is that instructions? Alright, well I guess we're going to bust into this bag. Uh, we have a parts list. Toilet lid, toilet seat, M44 water fill opening, which is that. So that's water fill. Piston pump is over here. And there's little hoses in that bag to probably connect those since they're white and not orange. And it calls this top piece the fresh water tank. And the bottom part that had the handle on I was showing you a few minutes ago is the waste holding tank. There is a air release valve, a level indicator, double sealed slide valve, which I showed you the slide valve on the front of it. M60 emptying outlet. That was the orange piece that, that yeah. So that is the emptying outlet. Um, yeah, show them what it's 
it's supposed to look like okay, all together. Okay, so That's we have the sink, and then we have the toilet. There should be something that shows them connected, because that's how it was bought, where they're both connected. Or, or they're both able to connect with other toilets and other sink combos, too. Uh, because mainly it sells them separate, and they sell them together as a combo. Well, there's a picture here.
Pay attention to the details. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.